In this video, we're diving deep into how Google has managed to reclaim the AI throne from OpenAI, emerging as the new leader in the world of artificial intelligence. And let's be clear, it's far from perfect. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to AI Gridlock for the latest updates and insights on everything AI. So it all started just a few days ago when Google unveiled their groundbreaking model VO2. This is their flagship generative text-to-video model, and it's a game-changer. VO2 doesn't just outperform its competition. It sets an entirely new standard for video AI. For the first time, we're seeing a video model that doesn't suffer from hallucinations, nailing complex elements like physics, hair, and motion with unprecedented accuracy. This is exactly what we've been waiting for from generative video AI, a model that simply gets it all right. Google's VO2 launch sent shockwaves through the AI industry, making everyone take a hard look at just how advanced Google's technology has become. Many had assumed that Google was lagging behind OpenAI, but with VO2, Google shattered that perception, proving they are not just in the race, but clearly ahead. What makes this story even more intriguing is how quickly it all unfolded. Just a short while ago, OpenAI launched their own video model, Sora, which generated significant buzz. On December 9th, Marcus Brownlee, a highly respected tech influencer and reviewer, confirmed the rumors about Sora's public launch. His glowing review set the tech world alight, as Sora was celebrated as OpenAI's latest marvel in video generation. However, fast forward less than a week to December 16th, and everything changed. Brownlee tweeted again, this time about Google's VO2, describing it as, better than anything I've ever gotten out of Sora. Hearing such high praise from a trusted voice in tech added serious weight to Google's claim to the AI throne. To make things even more dramatic, OpenAI had also just released their upgraded video generator 2 around the same time. Yet despite their efforts, the spotlight was firmly on Google and VO2. The battle for AI supremacy has never been more intense, and Google's VO2 might just be the model that changes everything. Now, some of the demonstrations of these cutting-edge tools were absolutely mind-blowing. For instance, we saw how VO2 managed to depict someone slicing tomatoes with remarkable consistency and precision. In contrast, Sora struggled with accuracy in similar tasks. And these issues weren't isolated incidents. Across social media, there was a consistent narrative that VO2 had surpassed Sora in nearly every metric. Take, for example, a scene where someone is running over hurdles. Sora's attempt was riddled with inaccuracies, failing to capture the motion realistically. Meanwhile, VO2's output was stunningly accurate, showcasing a level of detail and realism that left everyone in awe. It's clear that Google's VO2 is setting a new benchmark in video AI. But it wasn't just VO2 stealing the show, another standout from Google's arsenal was Imogen Free. If you're not familiar, Imogen Free is Google's flagship text-to-image model, and it's redefining the boundaries of what's possible in image generation. When you look at the benchmarks, Imogen Free towers over the competition. Its ELO rating on leaderboards makes it the undisputed leader among text-to-image models. This is no small feat, considering the stiff competition from models like Midjourney, Doll 3, Stable Diffusion, and Flux 1.1. Yet Imogen Free has proven itself to be the best, delivering unmatched quality and precision. Simply put, Google's recent advancements are nothing short of extraordinary. And it doesn't stop there. Google's dominance extends beyond image and video generation. They recently unveiled Gemini EXP, which is potentially the precursor to their Gemini 2 model. For the past two to three weeks, Gemini EXP has been dominating the chatbot arena, ranking as the number one model in blind tests. In these tests, users compare two models side by side without knowing their identities, and overwhelmingly Gemini EXP emerges as the preferred choice. This marks a significant shift in the landscape as OpenAI's ChatGPT and Anthropic's Claude have both been dethroned. While brand recognition does play a role in user perception, blind tests reveal that Gemini's output quality is simply superior. Not only does Gemini EXP top the charts, but Gemini Flash, another version of the model, also ranks impressively surpassing competitors like O1 Preview and O1 Mini. Google's Gemini models are not just excelling in text-based tasks, but are also setting new standards in vision applications. Whether it's text-to-mutual generation, chatbot interactions, or vision-based tasks, the Gemini lineup consistently outperforms industry leaders. 
Even Claude, once thought to be untouchable in certain areas, has been surpassed. This level of performance is nothing short of remarkable, especially considering how quickly Google has managed to climb to the top. The AI landscape is shifting rapidly, and with innovations like Gemini EXP and VO2, Google is solidifying its position as the dominant force in AI. But it's not just the Visionaria models or the flagship Gemini offerings. Google has also focused on lightweight models, and they've absolutely nailed it. Enter Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, a model that redefines what lightweight AI can achieve. While direct comparisons to other models aren't yet available, the advancements from Gemini 1.5 Flash to this version are astonishing. Gemini 1.5 Pro was already a powerhouse, but Gemini 2.0 Flash surpasses it in every conceivable way. Ranking consistently in the top three, this model is setting a new standard for lightweight AI solutions. And if that wasn't enough, Google unveiled Project Astra, an ambitious AI agent demo that signals their intent to dominate the AI assistant space. Powered by Gemini 2.0, Astra is designed to reason in real time and assist users on the fly, effectively making you feel superhuman. Whether it's using the camera to navigate your surroundings, leveraging maps for precise directions, or accessing its vast knowledge base, Astra promises to be an all-encompassing assistant. What makes Astra truly remarkable is its ability to integrate seamlessly with Google's ecosystem, enhancing tools you already rely on. With advanced capabilities like tool usage and multimodal reasoning, Astra isn't just an assistant. It's a glimpse into the future of AI-powered productivity. Now, like I said before, it wasn't just these agents. Having an AI agent that can perform tasks in the virtual world is impressive. But what about physical devices? Enter Google's Android XR platform. This new operating system is specifically designed for XR devices, including augmented reality, AR, virtual reality, VR, and mixed reality, MR. What makes Android XR revolutionary is its seamless integration of Gemini AI directly into XR glasses. This means users will be able to incorporate advanced AI functionality into their daily lives and workflows like never before. Imagine having AI capabilities baked into all your favorite Google apps, connected to the broader Google ecosystem, making your experience not just intuitive but transformative. Google has also opened this platform to Android developers, unleashing a wave of creativity from one of the most innovative communities in tech. With developers now able to build on this platform, the possibilities are endless. We're likely to see groundbreaking experiences that redefine what's possible in XR and AI integration. As someone who has personally used AI-powered wearable devices like the Meta Glasses, I can tell you the potential here is massive. While the Meta Glasses lack full AI functionality, Google's Android XR platform promises to take things to the next level. It's safe to say that with Android XR, we are witnessing the future of AI unfold right before our eyes. And of course, Google wasn't done yet. They decided to up their game even further with the introduction of deep research. This tool is nothing short of revolutionary for anyone who relies on the internet for information. Imagine being able to pull data from 100 different websites and have it generate a fully-fledged 10-page research journal on virtually any topic. Deep research isn't just fast. It's faster than you could ever be. It's accurate, comprehensive, and up-to-date, saving users countless hours of manual research. For many, this tool will become an essential part of their workflow rendering beloved tools like Perplexity almost obsolete. While quick searches might still have their place, deep research is poised to become the go-to for in-depth personal and professional inquiries. And it doesn't stop there. Google has also integrated a secret weapon, advanced data analysis capabilities, now baked directly into Gemini. This is a feature that sets Gemini apart from other LLMs, enabling users to analyze data in ways that were previously unimaginable. This enhancement further solidifies Gemini's position as the most advanced AI model on the market. The company admits to pricing its systems pretty rapidly to pin affordable limits, and it states creditors will not be underestimated. Another groundbreaking addition is memory functionality. Similar to how OpenAI's ChatGPT can remember personalized details, Google Gemini now offers the same feature. Users can instruct Gemini to remember specific information, creating a more tailored and interactive experience over time. When we look at everything Google has achieved in just one week, it's clear they've taken the lead in AI innovation. 
From text to video and image generation, to XR integration, AI assistance, and groundbreaking research tools, Google is setting the pace for the future of AI. Their relentless pursuit of excellence is transforming the AI landscape, and it's safe to say they are redefining what's possible with technology. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.